Hello everyone, my name is Butter Tongs Lee, and welcome back to another episode of Skya 5. Now, let me just... Uh, yep, okay. Wanted to make sure my camera wasn't, like, too high for that. Anyway, where we left off, we have just started helping Usalia get her planet back from the kingdom this time. Before we were doing it on the outside, now we're on the inside. And we ran into Bloodus, and apparently... He's kind of immune to the um, ultimate demon technique, which is kind of making me uh, worry how we're going to handle this now. And this is for some reason in my area. I don't know where that's there. And where's my water? I need my I got my water. Here's my water. Not much left in it. But I'll make sure off camera to refill it as I record. So, what are we going to do? We're going to continue on our little adventure, but first, I have to see what these characters have to say, and hopefully, it will not be too long, like last time. Hey bro, has Red Magnus really matured? And this is in the way. <clears throat> I feel like he's more tolerant than before. I can agree with that. Lusania thinks there is a kindness inside his strength. Very true. I mean, he cares about people on deep down in his own way. This is super weird. I don't feel like I've grown at all. Hey, Gilia. I bought groceries for dinner. Oh, thanks. I bought super sweet curry roux, roux or roux for little Usa too. Thank you, Flip. Wow, is this really Red Magnus? Red Magnus is starting to change from self-centered overlord to a true overlord. Stop complimenting me. You're making me blush. Well, I'll compliment you a lot. So blush even more, Flip. Does that mean I'm mistaken? Hey Zero, you didn't do your chores, so you're not getting any dinner. I told you, see bro, he's being mean to me. You deserve it. I mean, yeah, he does deserve it. It's like, you want dinner, do your chores. I mean, come on, don't be lazy. The place isn't going to clean up after itself. Kill ya, I want you to teach Usalia how to make curry. What's up, little Usa? Aren't you satisfied with the curry kill you makes? If you want different flavors, then just tell me. I'll do what I can to alter it. It's not that flip. I just thought that Usalia shouldn't rely on Killia forever. Well, I mean, that's true. I mean, everyone needs to learn how to cook eventually. I like cooking. Cooking is one of my favorite things. So I thought I should learn how to make curry on my own, but that's something I also want to learn too. I want to make curry in real life. One of these days, for one of these recordings hopefully, I'm going to make a fresh thing of curry and I'm going to have it right here on one of these episodes so that I can tell you guys what I think of it. I've never had curry, literally, dead serious, straight in the camera, looking at you viewers straight in the eye, even though it sounds creepy that I'm doing it, but I'm doing it anyway. I've never had curry. Never. So, I would love to try some. My, she's so lovable. Sir Kilia, I'll help you too. Well, she didn't say you too, but I added that anyway. If you use this dark matter as a secret seasoning, you'll master the secret abilities of dark cooking. Dark cooking? I don't need any help. Rosalia wants to make it by herself. Oh my. I thought this would be a great opportunity to show off my feminine appeal to Sir Kilia. Feminine appeal? More like destructiveness. Alright, starting today, I'll do my best to make curry with Usalia. Thank you very much, Flip. I'll do my best to learn from you. These are all great people. I would love to meet people like that. Well, in a way I already have. I have my friends. But they teach me things now and then. I'm still learning things from them. Where would you like to go, dude? I always have trouble learning. It's... 
kind of sad. But I'm fine. Alright. Kind Circuit. And... I would have figured this would just have the same... Netherworld effect as the outside, but I guess not. So I'm guessing we haven't unlocked it yet, so I'm interested to see what this... Um, Netherworld effect is going to be inside the castle. But first... Voice actors! There's no end to this. How many corpses did Margarita put in this castle? Yes, this is Christo. I'm currently busy. Yoo-hoo, little Christo. I figured it's about <coughs> time you made your decision, so I called you. It's 20 hours till the launch of Armageddon. Calculating the time it'll take for you to escape, I figured you've already decided. Yeah, about that. There's something I wanted to ask you about. Okay, this is awkward, but I'm interested to hear this. Hmm? What is it? Yes, it's true that by using my clairvoyance, I can pinpoint Void Dark's almost exact location. But then there's no need for a weapon of mass destruction like Armageddon. Using something else would minimize the collateral damage. Why would we do that? Don't you think it's weird for an angel to worry about the netherworld? Besides, there has to be darkness where there is light, so in a way, you destroying all the netherworlds, you're destroying the darkness, making things unbalanced. Yeah, I kind of see that being a bad idea, too. You have a point, but besides, what do you think would happen if Void Dark survives? Celestia would definitely get counterattack, right? Yeah, but I don't even know if your weapon would even destroy him either. What if he survives that? Then he'll still counterattack, and he'll have all the power he needs to do so. Using your clairvoyance to drop Armageddon on Void Dark's head is the only way to be sure. Hey, hello! Can you give me an answer? Remaining silent won't help you. Sorry. Please. Give me a little more time to think. Even the fortune told you not to be indecisive? You should decide quick. <clears throat> Why am I having so much trouble with this? If I can take out Void Dark, the suspicion around me will be lifted. What is this feeling in my chest? Now, Christo, if I had glasses, I would take them off right here to show how smart I am to understand this part of the feeling you're feeling, because I know what that feeling is. That feeling is regret. You are regretting holding all these secrets from your friends you've made, because in a way, they see you as friends, even though they're demons, and you think of them as friends. And what you're doing is kind of backstabbing. But then again, you haven't done anything yet, so it's not really backstabbing. It's just, you have a very painful feeling in your chest that's trying to tell you you're full of regret, and you're having hard times deciding what's the right thing to do. Oh. The others don't even talk, they're just... Uh-oh. Okay. Why are you growing carrots while inside your castle? Holy crap. All of these waterfalls, like going around us wait what how do we get up there oh oh um this could be bad how am I gonna get them I have a plan of why I'm giving my character that type of boost. First, they're gonna have their curry. He's always not there. He goes to sit and eat. She trips and falls in. As usual. Yes, it's all gone. You okay? And I'm sure sh I'm sure she's fine. Let me thank you. Now, the reason I also boosted my character is because I found out my jump can make it up here. I might be in a very dangerous spot doing this, though, but it's one of the best yeah. things I can do.
what I could do is actually take out those bombs. Let me see if I can actually take out those bombs. Too short. I'm hoping these chain react and can your spell casting reach up there no it cannot okay let's see what happens I'll try to I was hoping it would chain react Crap. Wait, hold on. Is there a way I can... Is there a way I can restart this battle? Yeah, retry. I have an idea. I have a super idea. Give me one second to set everyone up again. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, first... I am giving him... The buffs. I'm also gonna move... Killing in a spot so that he can get the curry buff. I think I'll. Uh, do I have a four leg? Yes, I do. Give them their buff. And then I'm gonna have Magnus throw me over there so that I can have better vantage point in jumping up to him. To go over there, grab that bomb, and hopefully throw it at them and detonate them and make it a massive chain reaction. So let's see if this works. You okay? I'm happy, Flip. If this yeah, works, let's go. I dub myself a genius in explosions. Because you gotta think, you gotta think of these barrels like printers. You don't want to throw them, because literally, printies, you don't want to throw. But you guys no doubt seen them in my, my past videos of when I first started playing you Sky okay? 5. You don't want to throw a printy. Throwing a printy, thank you. they go boom, and then they die. Yay! You don't want to kill your guys. Okay, so we're going to throw me over here. I'm gonna jump up here. My jumping is so massive. <laughs> okay. Montas. I'm really hoping this doesn't bite my character in the butt. Ha! No bombs! But I'm no doubt screwed now. I'm gonna die. But you have no bombs. So you know what? If I, my character dies, I die in vain. Hit me with your best shot! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Did they just ignore me? Oh, never mind. I'm alive. The bad thing is, though, I can't heal my guy up there because it's too hot. Which sucks. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm gonna have to make my guy jump straight down. Yeah. I'm alive though. Yeah. Uh, leave it to me, yeah. is it? Yeah, yeah. Ha ha. Am I alive? Ooh. I'm an inch from death. I am jumping down. Later, Gators! I'm jumping down straight here instead. And now, I need to heal badly. You. 
Surprise! Activate this one. And activate this one. Super Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, that's right. She's the only one on her squad team with the curry squad. Eh. Oh, yeah, that's Purgatory Palm now. Oh, you're yeah. upset. Oh, too bad. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Don't move. Damn you. You're probably gonna Need die from power. this. Did I do it? Damn you. Oh, you're Damn dead. You. Or not. Damn you. Or you're somehow not dead. I was actually hoping that would kill him. Well, I can't let you have your little ability there, so... No. And just get him with this. This should finish it. Damn you! You! Dead. She can counter from anywhere. So I'm guessing Usalia. She has a random chance of being able to actually attack with allies. That's actually really cool. Crystal, behind you! Huh? Oh. S sorry. Thanks for the help. You almost got skewered. What are you doing? Why are you just standing there? You obviously seem to be bothered by something. Is the air in the netherworld not comforting for an angel? No, no, no. <coughs> like I said, I'm an overlord. I really am a demon. Oh, is that so? Forgive me then. <laughs> Something bothering you, Christo? If you don't mind, I can listen and help you out, Flip. Something bothering him besides the bomb? Big bomb. You know. It's nothing. Big bomb. Coming for our butts. Look, Christo, it can't be nothing. Anyone can see your trouble just by looking at you. Christo probably used a lot of energy when he saved Usalia. So he must be tired, Flint. He'll feel better in a little while, Flint. Until then, Usalia will protect Christo. Is that okay? Usalia. What's on your mind? But if something's troubling you, you can trust us. He's right, Christo. If you have a problem, you can tell us. We're your allies. Uh. Please stop, everyone. You're all demons. Why are you being so nice to me? 
Maybe because you're misunderstanding demons, as well as all the other angels. If you were all cold-hearted and evil like I imagined, then I wouldn't have to think this hard. I... What should I do? I don't know what you should do, but what I'm going to do is go and heal up my guys, and then Let's we're going to continue it on the next one. Bunny hop stairs. Here we go. That phone again. Yes, this is Christo. It's lucky bonus quiz time. Quick, how many more hours till we launch the anti netherworld annihilation weapon Armageddon? Tick tock, tick tock. The correct answer is four hours. Huh? Oh, only four hours? You're lying. Before on the phone you said he had 20 hours. Why is it already 4 hours? It didn't take us 20 hours to kill those demons. Well, you did get the lucky bonus quiz wrong. Th that's just stupid. Stupid? How rude. Like a loving father, I was only trying to push you into making a decision. You have 4 hours left. You better start evacuating or you won't make it in time. <sighs> hmm? Why are you so concerned? Only a couple hundred netherworlds will be blown up along with Void Dark. What's wrong with that? You can say goodbye to those lowly demons. Aren't you happy? Lowly? Hmm? Are you mad? But you said so yourself. Demons are lowly. You said you were just using those annoying demons. Use them as pawns and sacrifice them. <laughs> That's what you said. That is how I used to think, but now they're my allies, and I depend on them in battle. Hmm? Oh, so they're your allies now. Uh, uh... Uh... What? Why? Why? No, no, no. I, I simply misspoke. How should I put this? Well, if that's the case, then I guess you should feel troubled. Oh my, okay. So much teen angst. I didn't think I'd ever hear those words from you, Christo. For a second there, the reason I paused it there is because for some reason my mouse suddenly just stopped working. So I had to click my mouse in order to continue. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what the hell happened. That just came out of nowhere. You might actually be a spy. Like I said. <laughs> I'm just kidding. See ya. Oh my God. How did this even happen? Allies. Demons as my allies. What am I saying? Really? We just keep getting straight into about Oh, no. Silence and no lifting. Oh, I see why, you dicks. Are those corpses too, or are those just actual printings? Because normally this is supposed to be all with, like, corpses. Oh, I think I see what that. Well, actually, they're standing on that, so no, but... I'm not gonna like this. Don't move. I found a way that I can cheese it. If I can have characters standing on this platform, they can at least cast a spell. So right there, I was able to cast a debuff on her, which is not going to last too long, because the debuffs, they normally last for, like, just, I think just a couple turns. But that's fine. Let's it's, go! It's an edge. I'm using it to my advantage. And, of course, my other strategy, get them up there as fast as possible before the bad stuff. And maybe a good idea here would be keeping Crystal on. Well, actually, no, because I wouldn't be able to heal them all the way up there. So, 
We just gotta get up there fast. Because he's not gonna be able to reach them with healing from down here. Oh boy. What? Oh, there. I'll handle it. Oh, so you like spears and swords. Okay, this just got a whole lot more interesting. But that also means there's less of you now. I'll handle it. Still less of you. Wait, they were standing on that platform while doing that, right? Yeah, they were, so that means I could magic change right here if I wanted. Oh, let me test. Yep, I can. Okay, magic change works. But for now, I need to do this. Oh no. Ha, Reverse sorry. flip! As long as I have my powers, we are super safe! They killed kill ya. As soon as I get up there, I'm gonna throw you at each other. I can still fight! Now see this is where you guys are no doubt regretting so your life choices. That, and you're about to regret this. Nope. I am not even gonna bother killing you. What? Oh, you're not a... I need to retry this. So, I'm not gonna be able to reach them in time before they start throwing stuff. But, I can at least see what I can do about lessening the people that they're throwing bombs at. Like that. Now, my new plan. Zerokin, you might die from this. Not meaning to do that. You. Fly away. Ah, what the? Oh, okay, there we go. Bomb's gone. Zero kin might die. He is at an inch of health. Ah! So you just wanted to throw bombs at us. I'm about to do something you're gonna regret. I'm not gonna bother killing you normally. What? Why can't I lift you? Oh, yous are asses. You know what? Fine. Apparently, when they're defending, they can't be lift. You know what? I'm just gonna beat you senseless. One hit kill, Just gonna kill you. Either Rusalia or Cronin is getting the level up. Yeah. It's Rusalia. Amy Joe surrenders. Mainly because the others blew themselves up. Oh shit! Oh shit! I just don't know. What should I do? One, I knew it. Two, Christo, uh, you dropped something. Christo, Christo, your horn fell on 
the ground for it. Oh, pardon me. I hadn't noticed. Oh, no, this isn't what it seems. Oh, my? What isn't what it seems? My horns didn't fall off. It was simply an optical illusion. Nobody said anything about horns. Uh... Actually, Osalia said something about horns. I see. Something must be really troubling you. What do you mean, Sir Kilia? There's a type of demon whose horns fall off when they're under a lot of stress. I forget what they're called, but sorry, Christo. I didn't know you were one of them. Kilia. Bro, is there really a race of demons like that? Yeah, of course there is. Kilia knows, but he's doing this to help Christo. I can tell. Thank you very much. But if I don't hurry, Armageddon. Armageddon? Sounds cool! I can't wait to see it! Uh, no, it's not that. Uh, forget it. Let's go defeat Margarita. Well, as much as I would love to do that for the episode, sadly, I need to end this. Uh, bleh, my tongue got tied and said M instead of end. I need to end off this video here. So. I'm already seeing that Kilia is doing this just to make sure no, none of the others like do anything horrible to Crystal, because I can tell by Kilia's actions, he knows. I bet you 100% he knows. And he's doing this so that nothing happens to him, because, I mean, Crystal's helped for so long, so Kilia no doubt knows that he's not a bad angel. But we're just going to have to wait and see. So, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, what the? Okay, everything spazzed for a second there. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, tell me what you guys think of the video in the comments below. I mean, what did you guys say? And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, have a wonderful day. Bye! It's delicious.